Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Davis No Bio channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn about prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So let's start. Prokaryotes and eukaryote. Let us know about the differences between the prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Prokaryotes have no organelles, whereas eukaryotes have organelles like endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, etc. In prokaryotes, there is no nucleus and in eukaryotes, there is nucleus where the genetic materials are formed. Now let us know about the prokaryotes in detail. On the basis of molecule composition, the prokaryotes are divided into two categories, that is bacteria which is also known as eubacteria and the second category is archaea if you say about the differences then the cell wall in bacteria is made up of peptidoglycan whereas in archaea the cell wall does not contain peptidoglycan the phospholipid is not branched in bacteria whereas in archaea it is branched in the figure you can see phospholipid from archaea and phospholipid from bacteria in archaea the phospholipid are branched and have the pitanyl side chain whereas in bacteria these are not present again if you see about the phospholipid then the phospholipid in bacteria is bilayer and in archaea it is monolayer. The glycolysis and Krebs cycle is present in bacteria system whereas in archaea it is not present. Now if you say about the habitat then bacteria is found almost in every type of environment whereas archaea is found in an extreme environment such as hot springs. Now let us know about the eukaryotes. Eukaryotes on the basis of cell organization are divided into two categories. Single celled organism where the single cell act as an individual, function as an individual. The second is multicellular organism where cluster of cell togetherly act as an organism. Now in single cell organism, protists are there. So the examples for protists are amoeba, euglena, Paramecium. These are single cell organisms. The second category under single cell organism are fungi. Examples are yeast, molds, and snuffs. These all are also single cell organism. In multicellular organisms, again there are two categories. The number one is animal, where the human beings are included along with all the animal kingdom. Secondly, plant kingdom includes herbs, shrub, trees, climbers and creepers. So these are the differences between the prokaryotes and eukaryotes. So now let us know about the similarities between the cells. All living things are fundamentally similar inside. All cells are composed of the same sorts of molecules that participate in the same type of chemical reactions. They have same chemical coat, same chemical building blocks, same chemical machinery which help in replication of the cell and 
same way or pattern of duplication. So these are the similarities about the cells as a whole. So this much only for today's video on prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Meet you in the next video with new topic. Thank you for watching. Please do like, share and comment and do not forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.